Today we're diving into the world of PowerPoint animations and creating some seriously cool mouse over effects that will make your presentations shine. Get ready to ditch the static slides and create interactive experiences that will wow your audience. First things first, we're going to set the stage. I'll right click the background and change the background color. Nice and simple. Next up, we'll insert our title. I've already prepped mine, so I'll just paste it in. Easy peasy. Now push Ctrl D to duplicate the slides four times. We're doing this so we have our slides to link our mouse over actions to. On the first slide, let's insert a rounded square. For precise sizing, go to Shape Format and type in 5 and 5 for a perfect square. Let's make the corners a little less rounded for a smoother look. And then align it to the middle of the slide. Now duplicate this square so we have four of them. Select all four squares, then go to Home, Arrange, Align, right click it. I've conveniently added mine to the Quick Access Toolbar. To make sure they're perfectly aligned to the slide, click Align to Slide, then distribute them horizontally again. Now let's add some flavor with icons. Go to Insert, Icons, and since our theme is Sports, I'll search for Sport. Let's pick golf, tennis, soccer, and cycling. Click insert, and then carefully place each icon on the squares, using the grid lines for perfect alignment. Once they're all set, select all four icons and change their color to match the background. Now for the fun part. Select the first shape, and go to insert, action, and instead of mouse click, choose mouse over. We want to hyperlink this to slide 2. Click OK. We'll repeat this for the other squares, linking them to slides 3, 4 and 5. If you're enjoying this tutorial and find it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tips and tricks. OK, back to the action. To ensure smooth morphing and to help PowerPoint understand each shape separately, we need to do a little trick. Go to Home, Arrange, Selection Pane. Add two exclamation marks in front of each rectangle's name. This tells PowerPoint that these shapes are the same across slides. Now that our shapes have actions, select all four, press Ctrl C to copy, and then Ctrl V to paste them onto each of the other slides. Time to design. Let's head to the second slide. We already have our mouse over action set up, but we also need a way to return to the first slide. Insert a rectangle covering the entire slide. Right click it, go to format shape, and set the transparency to 50% so that we can still see what we're doing, and send it to the back of the slide. We want the return to slide one action to work when hovering over the top and bottom areas only, but not in the spaces between the squares. So copy and paste the first square, realign it, and drag it across to cover the gap. Select the background rectangle, then this new rectangle, and in shape format, go to merge shapes, subtract. Awesome, we've created a hole here where the mouse over action won't be triggered. Now go to insert, action, choose mouse over, and link it to slide one. Perfect. Change the color of this shape to match the background. Copy it and paste it onto each of the other slides, sending it to the back each time. On the second slide, it's time to get creative. Select the first square, go to Shape Format and increase its size to 8cm by 8cm. Drag it to the middle, move the icon to the top right and change the icon's color to purple, and do the same for the title. And I'll insert some pre-prepared text. Now for a cool effect, we want the other squares to shift slightly when the first one enlarges. So we'll grip the smaller squares by pressing Ctrl G, then select them all. Go to Align, and this time choose Align to Objects. This will keep the outer squares in place while the middle ones adjust then distribute them horizontally. Let's now add a glow. 
select the enlarge square, go to format shape, FX, glow. Choose a large purple preset and adjust the size to 80 and the transparency to 20. Looking good. We need to remove the mouse over action from this enlarged square because we don't want it constantly trying to send us back to the same slide that we're currently on. Go to Insert, Action, and set it to None. Also ungroup the shapes by pushing Ctrl plus Shift plus G. This ensures that the Morph effect will work properly once we set it. Repeat these design steps for the remaining slides using a different color for each. Now with all our slides designed, select them all, go to Transitions and choose Morph. Let's speed things up a bit by changing the duration to 0.5 seconds. Now let's go back to the first slide and see our masterpiece in action. Isn't that awesome? We've created a dynamic and engaging presentation that's sure to impress. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my next video where I'll show you some amazing icon and illustration hacks. I'll see you over there.